Welcome to all the ETOP regular club members and the ETOP Jaguar enthusiasts. What I'm doing in this video is the, the front suspension. And uh, there's a couple of little things I found out that are an easier way to do it, so uh, I thought I'd pass them on. The first thing is, is the shims. Um, I'll put my glasses on. You can see the, the condition of these shims here. You know they're pretty rusty, and if you're gonna if you're gonna mic those or you're gonna you're gonna put a, a vernier gauge on them, the problem with that is is obviously the rust build up in between them is going to give you a certain thickness. So you're better off giving them a little light clean. Don't go too far, and and then you can check out what the actual width of that is. And obviously for them being rusty, you can use them again, of course, but if they're bad and you'll need to get some new shims. Yeah. So what I would do is, if I was you, is I, I bought quite, quite a few more shims than I need, because SNG Barrett are pretty good at tech returning stuff, as long as it's still in the plastic. So I've got more than I actually need, because uh, there's nothing worse than finding you know, one shim short or one bolt, it's a real pain. So I'll open these up one at a time until I get the right combination, and then whatever I've got spare, I'll take back next time I'm there. Um, and then obviously you can uh, uh, caliper it or, or measure everything uh, and see what the thickness is. I did it as one piece, but you could, it's just as easy to do uh, uh, as so many pieces at a time. These are for the front uh, bushing, and these ones here are for the, for the rear bushing, as you can see here. And what I did was, uh, it might seem like being a bit of a smart ass, but what I did was, is I actually, when I took the car apart, a bit late if you, you've already done it, but when I took the car apart, uh, you can see there, I did look, front, right hand, top wishbone, driver side or shins. Um, and, you know, this is the way to go, as you're pulling it apart, actually take the shins out, and write them down somewhere, not just leave them in the bag, but actually write down somewhere, what you've actually got. So, what I want to do um, now is I just want to show you on the car, I've done one side so you can actually see it. So, uh, um, like I was saying about writing it down somewhere, you can see here, I did that some, some time ago, and you can see top wishbone packing or, or shims. There were seven pieces, that Stuck is German for piece. Uh, there was seven in the right hand and five in the, in the left hand. Anyway, so they're all shimmed up now on this side, and as you can see, the, the top wishbone is in. Unfortunately, what happened was I ended up buying a, a complete new wishbone, which is not cheap, they're 250 quid plus fat, um, because what had happened was is one of these tightening, one of these pinch bolts here had sheared inside, and that's near impossible to get out. Um, I will attempt to get it out. And, and, and maybe use it or sell it on or something, but uh, you know, it was a lot of work to get it out, for, take it to an engineering shop. Anyway, uh, and what I had is I had the top ball joints, and when you buy these new top wishbones, or RA arms as the Americans call them, um, they come pre-fitted with the, with the uh, ball joint in it. But one thing to be careful of here is, is when you're setting this up, make sure you put the, the, the spacer washer uh, and then the special washer on the ends which is actually not easy, it's not a problem but they are different and and you can't make a mistake on them because basically this washer this washer here has got a slightly bigger hole in it as you can see so it, it's near it's impossible not to to get them right you can see that one there I can hold it with one hand sits right up against that shoulder one side of the bushing and this one goes right the way through on the other side of the bushing this is the other side obviously because the bushing needs to be uh, gripped so that the rubber doesn't uh, um, get damaged and obviously this is going to go against the spacer tube inside unfortunately um, with these suspensions when they're so old uh, this is the bottom bottom wishbone um, and they get badly pitted as you can, I don't know, I hope you can see there. So I've got some new fulcrum, lower fulcrum arms here, new ones. 
um, and that's one that's it there you can see on the other side um, I've, I've had to heat hopefully you'll be able to see this but I'll bring it around so you can see it into the light a bit so as you can see on this one I'm going to do some serious damage to it to try and get this bushing off because the internal part of the bushing the rubber obviously comes off easy but the internal part was absolutely seized onto here so obviously it's important to put some uh, never seize on them so I have to replace that I've heated and quenched these uh, quite a few times to even get it to this point this one here was a bit easier but this one was a real bugger so anyway I hope that helps out and uh, and see how that, that system goes on and like I say just be careful with the shims it doesn't mean because I've used exactly the same shims and roughly I mean to 0 0.056 of a of a millimeter it doesn't mean that they will be perfect but it should be a good starting point I'm mean, hoping that the cambers and um, the steering uh, ge geometry is is going to be okay it's not a massive job to change it if it is Anyway, thanks for watching in and keep tuned on Dave Jaguar 66 and if you like them, subscribe and thank you to the people that have subscribed. Thank you, Shen. Bye for now.